Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ivo from Clan Wasted doing a little Arc Server Manager dedicated server tutorial. I have already downloaded the uh, Arc Server Manager via Google. So all you do is go into Google, type in Arc Server Manager. It should be the first link that pops up. Go in, download it, and you should go into your download file in a zip folder named the latest and click in there and uh, execute the Arc Server Manager which will then uh, extract itself if you have WinRAR and you can from that point uh, run it as an administrator it'll ask you where you want your files to download I simply just clicked on my desktop and created a folder for Arc Server Manager and set it to download or to uh, save everything there uh, the first thing that pops up, and you won't have any of this, you will just have this plus sign. You click that plus sign, and that will bring up this entire nifty menu here, which we will go through momentarily. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click settings. You're going to want to, I increase my experience here to 10,000. It's uh, generalized at a, only 1,000. You want to make sure that your data directly is set to the location which is the arc server manager on your or arc server folder on your desktop and you want to uncheck output steam command in the progress window and that's about it for all of this okay first things first I labeled my profile uh, wasted for myself um, your installed version is going to be 0.0, .0 if you haven't downloaded anything yet. Um, it should say here your installation location. It'll go to uh, server, server 1. My s server's obviously down right now. I haven't started it. Administration. First things first, you can change your passwords. Uh, change your server name. So if you're doing a public server, you want to name it something like, you know, 10 times all, you know, blah, blah, blah. What do you see generic server names for? Your, your, these are the servers or the ports that you need to port forward. I'm not going to go over port forwarding in this video. That's an, I'll release a separate video on port forwarding, but you need to port forward 777 7 and 27015. Just let Arc choose the IP address you want to use. Um, enable your Archon port uh, 32330. It's another port you'll need to forward. You can go through and change your maps here. This is the island, this is the center, and this is scorched earth. Once you do that, you can start with your mods. Uh, hopefully you'll have a rough idea of what mods you want to do, but to add mods, you just click, click this, this uh, right here. You want to click to add mods. You just click this, choose the mod you want, exit out, save it. And it should download your mods for you like so at that point you can exit out of there and it should download these and then later on when you go to download you should be able to download these mods uh, I'm not going to do an extension event my saves are going to be every 15 minutes um, I enabled anti-battle enable battle eye anti-cheat system went through all this none of this changed you can look through all that yourself roles the only thing I I don't want people building in resource rich zones I enabled PVE cave building because I want people to be able to build in caves allow crate spawns on top on top of structures in case someone builds where their a loot crate drops I enabled difficulty override I want my dinos to be up to level 1200 max players and tribe I put that at 20 Max Dino level, that's the override. Um, so you click enable and then you're able to scroll this bar out to however high you want your Dinos to be. Didn't change any of this stuff. Didn't change any of this. Didn't change any of that. Chat notifications, I did change that. I want proximity text chat. So for people to be able to talk in proximity of each other and not be able to be heard in global chat. I enabled player left and player join notifications I enabled pretty much all of this I, I didn't enable gamma settings and PvP because I'm not running a PvP server player settings I increased the experience they gained to 10 
didn't mess with any of the damage I, I did uh, half the water food and stamina I went down to per stat multipliers I want so it all comes generic at one I, if you change it at all it'll be this multiplied so instead of the generic 10 health you get I'll get 20 I'll get 50 in weight 20 in damage and uh, 4 in speed Dino settings I didn't really change any of this you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, a lot of flyers and caves. I did select that. So all this stuff is just stuff that based on what you want. Per level stat multipliers. I increased all of mine a little bit, as you can see. Three times as much damage. Two times as much. Two times as much damage. Three times as much weight. Kept the speed the same. Two times as much health and two times as much stamina. I want my dinos to be a little bit stronger. Uh, as far as Dino breeding multipliers, I increased it by 50, 20, 20, and I decreased this to half uh, how much they consume food. Uh, their mature speed, the hatch speed, and their mating interval. So I increased all that to be faster. I want them to mate more, hatch faster, and I want the baby to mature faster. Uh, the imprim imprinting scale, I want it to be two times, two times stats for every time he imprints so when you have a if you've never done the mating and stuff before if you mate and they have a baby once the baby's done in about 15 minutes time 30 minutes time depending um he'll want to be imprinted which is something like you cuddle him or you take him for a walk and uh, if you successfully do the imprint he'll gain two times his stats um our I want to say it's 20% of his stats. It's something. It, he'll have an increase in stats. Taming speed 20 times more, 20 times faster. Harvest amount 10 times more. Uh, resource respawn 10 times faster. And then I did harvest health 10 times as much. You can tweak that to if you want less supplies, if you want more, if you want a harder server, an easier server, if you want a big building server, you can increase and change all that. Crop decay speed, I put that on zero. I don't want my crops to decay. And crop growth speed, I put it on 10. I put 10 for everything that increases leveling. So if they craft, they'll get 10 times more experience. If they generic just over time, they'll get 10 times more experience. And you get the point on that. Structure damage, I increased that to 10. I want the structures to do 10 times more damage than they do now because I want it to be applicable in the game for you to put spikes around your house. Structure resistance, I kept that at zero. Let me make sure I did that right. Okay, I put that at zero so the structures can't receive damage from attacks. Uh, nothing with PvP, so I don't really care about any of that. Uh, I went down and did custom levels so I added 200 levels to my character I want him to be able to go up 200 levels let's see that's pretty much it for all this I didn't mess with any of this stuff down here I didn't mess you can do it in survival of the fittest server I, I didn't change any of that all I did was added a few mods so at this point once you have everything set up the way you want to um, It'll have installed for you. I have upgrade and verify for myself. So after I installed the server, I came down and did my mods. Simply by clicking download my mods, it, it downloaded all my mods. I just click this button after I put on the mods I want. And you can add them later after you stop the server. So for the first time, I am going to start my server. Okay, so it didn't download a mod correctly. It's because it's a big mod and Steam has issues downloading larger mods. If you continue to click install it, install it, eventually it'll be successful. So I'm going to start the server without that mod. Your server should come up like so. If you want people to join your server, they simply take your public IP and add a, 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 a colon and then type in a 27015 and they should be able to join your server once it comes up you will join it through your LAN but uh, right now this is the first time I'm starting the server 
and we'll go into our steam here momentarily and see if it's a successful start I will not join the server because I do not have it port forwarded yet but I would like to see if the server does come up so you guys can get an idea of yes it does work but this pretty much handles everything for you it takes roughly about 60 seconds for the server to come up but this is my first start it should take maybe roughly about three minutes but like like I said you can go through and customize it however you want to but uh, just give it a second for it to come up So the primal game data took about 78 seconds and it should take about 120 seconds total so about two minutes for the actual server to come up and if you guys have any questions you can always uh, leave a comment I'll be sure to uh, respond so about 102 seconds for it to come up uh, as you can see here well, it came up as arc 82 to 815 which is something I'll have to save and change later um, the center did those ports all craft and spawn on type of structures true force all allow cave flyers and it, it did all that stuff so it makes all that stuff for you so let's go in and see if we can see the server being super slow I'm pretty sure I started it oh, okay there we go let me make up my server manager let's actually see my archon see if my server came up might not have my archon set up correctly Sometimes you have to go in and change that around to get it to work. But right now we're just seeing if we can see the server. Okay. There it is. So it is up. Let's actually... We'll go ahead and try to join it. It shouldn't work because I don't believe I have it port forwarded. Oh, maybe it does work. So it is set for the center. So as you can see, the server does work. Let's go ahead and create a new survivor. Name him Iveleth. It's a good name. Tropical Island South. Let's go ahead and create our new survivor. Looking good. So as you can see, it did work. Put for it to be 1,200 levels. Let's take a look. Let's see if that is true, which is not. I'll have to change that around. But you can work with the settings to get it to change that's uh pretty much that so it did come up um that's good so if you guys have any questions like i said just leave uh some comments in the comments below i'll be sure to respond if it's something i need to make a video on i'll make a video but uh remember to 
subscribe, like the video, and uh, remember to uh, stay wasted.